We're writing an equation in this example, and we're told to let n be the middle number of three consecutive even integers, write an expression for the sum of these integers. So there are three consecutive integers. I'm just going to name them integer 1, integer 2, and integer 3. So these are consecutive integers, and they say in the instructions, to let n be the middle integer. So n is this guy right here, the one in the middle. Now, since they are consecutive even integers, consecutive even integers, if the one in the middle is n, the next one would have to be two more than that. So let's say the one in the middle was eight. The next even integer would be 10. Or if the number in the middle was 4. The next even integer would be 6. So if the middle one is n, the next larger one would be n plus 2, which now we have to figure out what the first integer would be. And it's also even, and it's the one that comes before n. So instead of adding 2 to n, we would subtract 2 from n. So again, just to give an example, if, see if our logic works here, let's say hypothetically, if n was 8, that's an even integer. If we were to add 2 to 8, that would give us 10 as the next consecutive even integer. And if I were to subtract 2 from 8, I would have 6. So we would have three consecutive even integers with 8 in the middle. So for this example, we don't know what n is. We just know that it's even. So these numbers were just guesses to see if our setup was correct. The expression we're asked to write, though, is the sum of these integers, which means we're going to have to add these up. So our expression is n minus 2, that's the first one, plus the second one, that's the n, plus the third one is n plus 2. And before we wrap this up, we should see if there's anything that will combine, if there are any like terms. And when we do, we see that there is an n here, plus another n, plus another n, and since these are all 1n's, and remember, there's no equal sign to cross over here. We're just adding up like terms. n plus n plus n gives us a 3n. And then if we look at the other numbers, which are also like terms, we have a minus 2 and a plus 2. So if we add those together, they'll actually cancel and become 0. So minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Our expression simplifies to just 3 times n.